Hi, I'm Maura Barclay with Exercise TV, and welcome to Yoga Sculpt. This is an intermediate to advanced practice designed for you to enjoy the intermediate work and then begin to play with the advanced modifications as you start to feel more comfortable. So you'll be able to design a completely unique program every time you practice. If you're feeling full of energy, then start to take some of the advanced modifications. If your energy is a little lower, stick with the intermediate work and take lots of breaks. The only thing you'll need is your yoga mat and your breath. We're going to start off in child's pose. So come down onto your mat on all fours, take your hips back, walk your hands out, and this will be your position of rest anytime you need to take a break. So take it down for three breaths and walk it out. Come on up to child's, uh, from child's pose up to all fours, spread your fingers nice and wide, the shoulders stack over the wrists, and the knees are right below the hips. And let's just take some simple cat and cow. Inhale, let the spine arch, look up. Exhale, push into the earth and press with your fingertips, tuck the tail. Inhale, look up. And exhale, tuck the tail and push away from the ground. Use the fingers to support the rest. Inhale, cow. And exhale, cat, tuck the tail, push the shoulder blades apart. Great, now take the spine to neutral, inhale, step the legs back and find yourself at the top of a push-up. Tuck the tail, engage your abdominals, five breaths here. If you wanna take the advanced modification, you're feeling a little sassy, inhale, one leg up, and exhale, set her down. And inhale, the right leg up, and exhale, set her down. One more each side. Inhale, one leg lifts. And exhale it down. Inhale, the opposite leg up. Exhale it down. On your next exhale, pike the hips back and press it back into downward facing dog. Bend the knees slightly and drop the chest towards the thighs and really open up the hamstrings and breathe. Three deep breaths here. Ah, breathe out the mouth, let go any tension that's hanging around. It's the end of the day, let it go. Ah, right on your next exhale, let your heels melt down into the earth and open the shoulders. Inhale forward to plank, shoulders over wrists. Exhale, let the hips pike your back, downward facing dog. Inhale forward to plank. Exhale, down dog, last one. Inhale to plank, hold here in plank, and let's take chaturanga all the way down to the floor. Elbows bend into the ribs, take it all the way down. Point the toes, roll the shoulders back, and find your cobra. Exhale, take it down. Inhale, roll the shoulders back, cobra push-ups. Exhale, take it down. Inhale, roll the shoulders back, and take it down. This time, take your hands back to your bottom ribs. We're gonna come into up dog, roll the shoulders back, push straight into the ground. All 10 toenails, lift your hips and thighs. This is up dog. And to get back to down dog, the easy way, come on to the knees and just take your feet back to the floor, downward facing dog. So let's take this vinyasa one step at a time. Inhale forward to plank. Exhale, chaturanga, come all the way down. Inhale, point the toes. Cobra. Exhale, flip the feet, push onto the knees, downward facing dog. Let's do that one again. Inhale, plank. Exhale, chaturanga all the way down to the floor, point the toes, warming up the back in cobra. And exhale, downward facing dog. Let's take the heat up a little bit on this vinyasa. Inhale forward to plank. Chaturanga halfway down. Now point the toes and press straight up into up dog. Keep the shoulders back and the thighs lifted. Exhale, down dog. One more like that. Inhale, forward to plank. Exhale, chaturanga, halfway down. Inhale, up dog. And flip the feet, take it right back to downward facing dog. <sighs> and let's take three breaths here. Catch your breath. Open up the calves and the hamstrings as you rest here in downward facing dog. It may not feel like a rest now, but it sure will in a second, trust me. All right, on your next inhale, let's take the left leg to the sky directly behind you. And on the exhale, bend the knee and take it to the forehead, shoulders over wrists. Inhale the leg back behind. Exhale, bend the knee, take it to the forehead. Beautiful, inhale the leg back behind. 
Exhale, bend the knee, take it forward. This time, step the foot between the hands. If you need to help your own ankle move forward, that's just fine. Inhale, come on up into crescent pose, otherwise known as a high lunge. Bend the back knee for this first crescent and really open up the right hip. Make sure your front knee is stacked over your ankle. Look down and make sure your knee is covering your second toe so you know your alignment is correct. Zip up the abdominals, open the chest, shoulders relax. Exhale, arms circle behind, hands down. Inhale to plank, top of a push-up. Exhale, chaturanga halfway or all the way, your choice. Inhale, up dog or cobra, your choice. Exhale, down dog. Let's do the other leg. Inhale, right leg rises. Exhale, bend the knee, bring it to the forehead. Inhale, take it back, you're in it now. Exhale, take it to the forehead, last one. Reach back with that foot. Exhale, take it to the forehead, step it between the hands, help yourself if you need to. Inhale, find your balance, up you come, crescent pose. Bend that back leg, tuck the tail and really get the stretch on that left hip. Inhale, the arms up, soft shoulders, calm face. And circle the arms behind on the exhale. Inhale, step it back to plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog or cobra, your choice. Exhale, downward facing dog. All right, let's add a little heat to this. Inhale, left leg rises. Exhale, knee to forehead, step it forward, crescent pose. And let's keep the back leg straight for this one. Strong through the back leg. Pin down your left hip, roll that hip down, hold it in place, and float your rib cage forward. On your inhale, take that hand down to the inside of your foot, keep that hip in place, and look right over your left shoulder, twisting through the rib cage, and then the hand lifts, reach up, lots of energy gazing up at your thumb. Beautiful twist. And exhale the hand down, inhale, step right back to plank. Exhale, chaturanga, inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. You know what's coming, other side. Inhale, right leg rises. And bend the knee, take it to the forehead. Step the foot between the hands. Find your balance, come right up into crescent pose. Once again, straight that back leg. You wanna push down through the front heel and really stack that knee over the front ankle. Take the right hand down and pin the hip in place. Then float the rib cage forward. Reaching out, take the hand down to the inside of the foot and look over your right shoulder this time. Strong back leg, don't let that leg bend here and reach up, looking up at your thumb. Beautiful twist on your exhale. Take the hand down, inhale, step it back to plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Now let's just take a vinyasa here. Inhale, forward to plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg rises. Step the foot forward. Come on up into crescent. Nice and strong. Immediately, hand goes to the floor. Opposite hand to the ceiling. Twisted crescent. You know just what you're doing. Squeeze that knee towards your arm. Lift. Look up. Open through the rib cage, strong back leg. It's gonna wanna bend, but don't let it. And take the hand down to the floor. Inhale, here's an advanced modification. Plank with the leg extended, if you're into it. Exhale, chaturanga leg extended. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog, other side, here we go. Inhale, right leg rises, right knee bent. Step the foot forward, right up into crescent. You know just what you're doing. The left hand's gonna swim down to the inside of the right foot and squeeze that knee into the arm. Reach up, lots of energy. Strong through your back leg and squeeze that knee in towards your arm. Roll the hip down and you breathe. Deep breaths. And on your next exhale, hand circles down. Inhale, step the foot back, advance modification if you're up for it. And chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. And take it back, downward facing dog. Nice and easy. Let's just take a little vinyasa here. Inhale, forward plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Roll the shoulders back. Exhale, downward facing dog. Pedal the feet here and just get any tension that's hanging around in the legs. Just let it all out, stretching through the calves, the hamstrings, the Achilles. 
and bend both knees, drop the chest, slowly press the heels down, opening the backs of the legs. Push yourself in opposite directions as if your mat wears a piece of elastic. Your hands are pushing back, your feet are pushing forward. And let's take three breaths here and rest. From downward facing dog, just walk your feet forward and find yourself in a forward fold. Make sure your toe bones, your ankle bones are touching in. I'm sure your wrists are tired, so turn your hands over and just let your head flop down and rest your wrists for three breaths. If you need to bend your knees, this is not about getting too crazy in the hamstrings. Last effort here, just make yourself comfortable. And then bend the knees, drop the hips, and just roll it up one vertebra at a time. Inhale, arms circle out and press the hands to the heart. Let's do that again. Inhale, arms circle up, and exhale, forward folds, swan diving out, reach out with the heart center, hands down, bend the knees if you need to. Now walk your hands to your shins and press the crown of your head forward and find yourself in a flat back. You may need to keep a soft bend here in the knees or if your hamstrings are open and it's comfortable, straighten the legs, your call. One more breath here, shoulders out of the ears. If you can, touch the floor with this flat back. Completely up to you. And release. Keep the legs as straight as you can. Reverse swan dive, firming the thighs. Palms come together at the top. Exhale the hands to the heart. Now let's speed that up a little bit. Inhale, arms circle up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Hands to the floor or your thighs or your shins. Release, exhale, reverse swan dive up. Exhale, hands to the heart. Inhale, arms circle up. And exhale, sit down, chair pose. Squeeze the knees together. Notice if your arms are forward, you want them by your ears, and you want to scoop the tail. Get rid of this arch in the back. We don't want that. Scoop the tail, sit down a little bit more. Just find the pose right now. Don't do anything else, but just find it. I know it's challenging to find this pose. And one more breath, sink down, chair pose. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back, hands to the mat or your legs. Exhale, release. Reverse swan dive, firm the thighs. And exhale, the hands to the heart. Inhale, arms circle up. Exhale, sit down, chair pose, squeezing the knees together. And now we're gonna add on a little bit. On the inhale, take the hands to the heart. Now I want you to take your right elbow to your left knee. And notice how that right knee wants to pop out. So put that knee back in place and get your hips neutral. And on the exhale, you're gonna look over your shoulder as you twist. Inhale, the crown of the head moves forward. Exhale, deepen into the twist. If you can deepen your hips a little, if you can't, stand right back up. Last effort here, looking over your shoulder, navel to spine. On the inhale, unwind, but stay in chair. Exhale, sit down. I know it's hard. Inhale, rise up. Ah, oh, beautiful. Exhale, forward fold. That feels good, I know. Inhale, flat back, look up. Exhale, release. Firm the thighs, reverse swan dive. Inhale, and the palms come together at the top. Exhale, the hands to the heart. Inhale, arms circle up. Let's do the other side. Sit down, chair pose. Squeeze the knees together. Inhale, the palms to the heart. And exhale, take the opposite knee and elbow together. So this will be your left elbow to your right knee. Notice that left knee wants to pooch out, scoop it back. And you're looking over your shoulder. And breathe, inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, deepen the twist, navel to spine, protect your back. One more breath here. I know this is challenging. On your inhale, unwind, but stay in chair, don't come up. Exhale, sink down just a smidge more. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, forward fold, Woo. Inhale, flat back, look up. Exhale, release. Reverse swan dive. Palms come together at the top. Exhale, the hands to the heart. Just one more, we're gonna take the heat up a little bit if you want to, inhale, arms up. Exhale, sit down. Hands come to the heart. Right elbow comes to left knee. Hold here three breaths, or if you want to, increase the difficulty here. Look down for balance, extend your right leg behind and find yourself in revolved crescent. Then look down to the floor, step the foot back, stay in chair. This is the tricky part. 
On your next inhale, unwind. Stay right there. Exhale, sink down. Inhale, rise up. Oh. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back, look up. Exhale, release. Reverse swan dive. Inhale, exhale your hands to your heart. Other side, here we go. Inhale, arms circle up. Exhale, sit down, chair pose, squeeze the knees together and take the hands to the heart on the inhale. Left elbow to right knee. And you can stay here and breathe or look down for the advanced challenge and take the left leg behind, sinking down right into your revolved crescent. Look over your shoulder, inhale. Exhale, step back. Inhale, unwind, but stay in chair. It's the last one, I promise. Inhale, stand up, and exhale, forward fold. Oh, that feels so good. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, release. Reverse swan dive all the way to the top. Exhale, the hands to the heart, and let's just hold here in namaste for three breaths. The best part of chair pose is being done with chair pose. <laughs> one more breath here. All right, we're gonna flow through some sun salutations. Inhale, arms circle up. Exhale, forward fold. Reach out with the heart center. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, release, palms down. Step it right back to plank. Exhale, chaturanga, halfway down or all the way down, your choice. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Knees bend slightly, inhale. Step your feet between your hands, exhale. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, release. Reverse swan dive, inhale. Exhale, the hands to the heart. We're gonna take the difficulty up just a bit. Inhale, arms circle up. Exhale, forward fold, shining out with the heart. Inhale, flat back, look up. Exhale, release. Keep the hands on the floor. Inhale, step back, plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. This time, knees bend slightly, gaze forward. Hop your feet between your hands. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, release. Reverse swan dive. And exhale, the hands to the heart. One more time with the difficulty level increasing. Inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, step right back into Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog, knees bend slightly. Step or float your feet between your hands. Inhale, look up, flat back. Exhale, release. Reverse swan dive. Exhale, the hands, the heart, one more time. Inhale, arms circle up. Exhale, shining out with the heart. Inhale, flat back, look up. Exhale, float it back to Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, knees bend slightly, float the feet between the hands. And inhale, look up. Exhale, release. Reverse swan dive, palms come together at the top. Exhale, the hands to the heart. We're gonna take a sun salutation back to down dog. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, downward facing, oops, forward fold. Inhale, flat back, look up. Exhale, release. Step it back to plank. And Back dips back, downward facing dog. On the next inhale, take the right leg all the way to the sky. Open the hip, bend the knee, circle your ankle. Look under your arm, say hello to your foot. And on your next exhale, straighten the leg, take it to neutral, bend the knee, step the foot forward, swivel the back, heel down, line up heel to heel. Come on up to warrior one. Your hips are working to neutral. Once again, the knee is stacked over the ankle. Everything is neutral. Warrior one. Tuck the tail and breathe and relax. And exhale, circle the arms. Come right down to the floor. Inhale, step back, plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Let's do the other side. Inhale, the leg up. And open the hip. Circle the foot. Once again, look to your own foot. See if you can see it. Take a little twist here as you look at your own foot. And on the exhale, straighten the leg. Take the hip to neutral. Exhale the knee to the forehead. Step the foot between the hands. Swivel the back heel down. Right up into warrior one. Sink that back foot down. You want to take the back edge of the foot down as you roll the hip to neutral. Zip up the abdominals. Front knee over ankle. And 
calmly sink into the posture. Warrior one, look up, breathe. And exhale the hands to the floor. Inhale, plank or plank with the leg extended. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. And let's hold here for three breaths. Take a little rest. start our Dancing Warrior series. Inhale, the right leg rises. Exhale, bend the knee, roll it to the forehead, step the foot between the hands, and swivel the back heel down. Come right up into Warrior One, pushing into the pinky side edge of that back foot, everything squaring up. Now let's open Warrior Two. Line up your back heel to your front heel with a 90 degree angle in the foot, or if you prefer, back arch to front heel, gazing over your front middle finger. Let's take reverse warrior now. Just guide your back hand down to the back leg. Don't put any pressure on the knee. And reach up to the sky, looking up deep in the bend in your front leg. Exhale right back to warrior two. And your next inhale, take your front forearm down to your front thigh and press it up and make some space here. You're not straightening the front leg, you're creating the space in this rib cage by pressing into your leg. And you reach up, breathe. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, swim the arms down, step it back, plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Let's do the other side. Left leg rises, bend the knee, take it to the forehead, step the foot between the hands, back heel swivels. Warrior one, everything is square. Then open, warrior two. Adjust your back foot so you can get your hips in the right position. Drop the back hand as you reach up and sink into your front leg. It re reversed warrior. And back to warrior two. Front forearm comes to front leg as you reach up. This is a modified side angle, which we'll build in a moment. Exhale, back to warrior two. Swim the hands down on the inhale. And step it back to plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Here we go. Right leg rises. Step the foot between the hands. And warrior one, inhale. Open up on the exhale, right to warrior two. Adjust the back foot. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, take the forearm down. Now reach for the front of your mat with that top hand. And if you're comfortable, straighten that front arm and descend into full side angle. If this isn't comfortable for you, stay right there on that thigh. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, swim the hands down, step it back, plank. You're doing great. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog, other leg. Inhale, left leg rises, step the foot between the hands. And warrior one. Exhale, warrior two. Dancing warrior series. Reverse warrior, drop the hand down, deepen the bend, inhale. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, side angle, modified or full side angle. And on the exhale, right back to warrior two. Swim the hands down, inhale. Step it back, plank. Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Last one. Let's do it. Inhale, right leg rises. Exhale, roll it in. Warrior one, inhale. Open to the exhale, warrior two. Inhale, slide that rib cage back, reverse warrior. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, side angle or modified side angle. Exhale, warrior two. Hands down, inhale, plank or plank with the leg extended, advanced modification. Exhale, take it down, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Ah. Exhale, last one. Left leg rises, bend the knee, step the foot forward, swivel the back heel down, warrior one. Open, warrior two on the exhale. Inhale, reverse warrior, deepen the bend on the front leg. And exhale, warrior two. Inhale, side angle or modified side angle. Exhale, right to warrior two. Swim the hands down, plank or plank with the leg extended. Your choice. Chaturanga leg extended. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Whoo, take two breaths here. You deserve it. Rest for just a moment here in down dog. We're gonna take an arm balance challenge. Come on forward to plank. 
Step the feet together. Transition onto the blade edge of the right foot for side arm balance. The modification for this is to take the top foot, the left foot, step it in front and just get a feel for this. Really press into the floor with your right foot and stack your shoulder over your wrist. Take it on down on the inhale. Press it back to downward facing dog with the feet together on the exhale. Inhale forward. Transition onto the blade edge of the left foot and reach for the sky. Once again, the modification is step the right foot right to the middle. Reach up and feel the stretch. If this is challenging for you, stay right here. You don't have to do anything you don't want to. This is your practice. Take the hand down on the inhale, feet together. Exhale, take it back. We're gonna do that again. We're gonna make it harder. Stay in the intermediate work if that's what you like. Inhale forward. The right blade, uh, the, uh, right blade of the foot finds the floor. Up you come. Here's the advanced work. Lift that leg up, hold for breath. And lower, right back into plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. That was fun. Let's do the other side. Inhale forward to plank. Roll to the left foot. Nice and easy. Take it slow. Maybe you just want to stay here. Or maybe you want to try the advanced modification. It's all good. Take it down. Softly return to plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take the feet apart a little bit. Knees bend slightly. Look forward. And let's just hop the feet between the hands. Inhale, take a little flat back here. Get some of the pressure off the wrist. And exhale, release, bend the knees, take the hips all the way down to the floor. For boat pose, take the hands behind the knees and lift the feet off the floor, squeeze the legs together. Proud chest, broaden through your clavicles. And take the hands to the thighs. On the inhale, you're gonna extend your legs and come halfway down for half boat and exhale up. Inhale, open. Exhale up, one more here, then we're gonna do the advanced modifications. If you're happy here, stay here. If you want a little bit more challenge, hands open, legs straight. Down you go, inhale. Exhale up, inhale, exhale. Let's do two more, inhale, exhale. Last one, inhale, exhale. Now take the knees to the chest, hold on to the right leg and extend and switch. And just gently roll back. Spinal roll. One more time, massaging the spine. Now bring yourself to a comfortable seat. You can cross your legs any way you like, whatever feels good to you. We're just going to take a very simple cool down. Inhale the arms up. Clasp the fingers, turn the palms to the sky. And take a deep breath. Take the shoulders up, inhale. Mm, exhale, take them down. Let's do two more. Inhale like that. Exhale, keep reaching the hands to the sky as you raise and lower your shoulders. Inhale, exhale, great. Let's take a little side twist here. Walk your right hand out and take the left hand up. Just walk over, literally walk your fingers. If it's comfortable to you, take the forearm down. Just take a simple stretch here. Just look up into your left elbow. You've probably never seen your left elbow so close. Just check it out. Deep breath. And take it up other side. Once again, walk the hand out. The right hand comes up. Lots of space here in the neck. And just walk the hand out. If this is where you're comfortable, if this is where you feel the stretch, just stay right here. If you want to get a little deeper into that stretch, take the forearm down and look up. Once again, getting up close and personal with the right elbow. And you breathe deeply here, one more breath. And come on up. Take the feet together for a very simple groin stretch like we used to do in middle school. We're gonna do this yoga style though. Take your thumbs to the inside of your big toe mound, the ball of the foot, and open your feet like a book. And notice how easy it is to get your knees closer to the floor. They may not be as close as mine are, but this definitely assists in the descent of the knees. Use the connection to your feet to sit up nice and tall. And breathe. Hmm. Now extend your right leg. Place the sole of the left foot 
in the right thigh and simply descend. Let's just take two breaths here. And come on up and switch. Extend the leg, very simple stretch here. Turn the shoulders towards the foot and descend. Just a little bit of hamstring stretch. One more breath. Great, come on up. Great job. That was a very challenging yoga practice. Thank you so much for joining me for Yoga Sculpt. I'm Maura Barclay with Exercise TV. Namaste.